Hello, all my lovely people. I am Priscilla from Crystal Things Heal, here to do a reading for you guys. Um, so I was actually doing something for an event that I'm doing tomorrow, um, and then I started channeling. So I was like, okay, I guess I have to do a reading. So here we are. For those of you who are following me, thank you. I appreciate you. You are the best. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, thank you for joining and tuning in. Um, welcome to the Crystal Tribe. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, we're going to do quick disclaimers. Friendly reminder that tarot is for guidance and entertainment purposes only. Therefore, not responsible for what you do after your reading. However, I'm here for you. If you are interested in a personal reading, check out crystalthingsheal.com where you could uh, visit the site and upload not upload schedule <laughs> your session i see that there's a glare there bear with me i'll show you all the cards okay we are apparently doing a love reading because i just pulled out the love cards and the songs i'm channeling are love related which is ironic because i just broke up with my boyfriend I don't think I want that in public, but I just said it, so I guess it is. <laughs> Let's find out what's going on with my lovely crystal tribe. Two more from this deck, please. One more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> okay. So, right off the bat, we have people who are probably new in a relationship or, um, so there was lots of chemistry off the bat. But you know what's weird? I know it says honeymoon and chemistry. I don't really feel like they had much of a honeymoon phase, though. Because I feel like their souls already knew each other. So they kind of like skip that phase. Interesting enough. So I also see here, pay attention to the red flags. So maybe you guys had a rough start to begin with? Hmm. I feel like during this time, you were probably talking to your friends. And you know what's interesting? I never noticed, but this card actually says moving on, happily single. So it was short-lived. <laughs> but then every time I look at this card over here, it says the love call. The song I'm channeling is... um. Etta James. Guys, I'm a horrible singer for those of you who are not on this channel. Um, but I do channel songs, so pay attention to the lyrics. So, look, someone expresses their love. Or texts it or something like that. I feel like it's a text. But anyways, I'm hearing... And that's my love has come along. My lonely days are over. And life's like a song at last. Hmm. I think, you know, it's interesting. This does feel very twin flamey. When this card fell, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> So we have our twin flames here, okay? That's probably why your souls felt like they knew each other. So the thing about twin flames is you guys can bring out the best in each other, but you can also bring out the worst in each other. That's so weird. I just felt like someone was um, like caressing my leg. I'm alone in my office. <laughs> Maybe they do that to you. 
they caress your legs when you're sitting or something like that. Who knows? Yin and yang. You guys compliment each other, but I feel like you guys are, you guys are probably opposites or act very different from each other. And that's why you compliment each other. And you smile. And then the spells cast. Hmm. For oh, you are mine at last. Oh. A little possessive. I would not be surprised if this person is a little possessive. That's like what I'm picking up on the most. For oh, you are mine at last. You guys need to have a talk. Because on the bottom of the deck here we have the coffee cup. So they might be like, can we just, can we just talk about things? I feel like there was already a, a breakup or a separation and then someone reaches out. Like, can we just talk? Like, I don't want to argue. <laughs> someone doesn't like that you could have options. I can change. I can, whoa. Really change. Let's just create a new phase. Let's. We can do this together. Like. <laughs> well, we can both be fucked up together. <laughs> oh, Lord. For better or worse. That's what I just heard. But what I'm showing you here is the wedding rings. A soul connection, eternal love, an everlasting promise. So you guys promise that you guys are going to work it out together. Little do you know, yeah, just signed a contract, a soul contract. So it might have been that someone was not going to contact you back and then they changed their mind because they realized like, I don't know. There was a new phase or something. Um, it's like you changed them. That's often what happens with twin flames, though. You know what I mean? It's what I like to say is, you know, they like the fund the thunder. <laughs> they like the fire under your ass. Right? It's like you're kind of grazing through life or whatever it may be. You may have struggled. You may have struggled. But this is the one that really gets you. It's going to be the biggest challenge in your life. But could be the most worth it too. For whoever I'm picking up on, okay? Not all twin flames are meant to stay together. They are meant to... Um, Elevate one another. I put a spell on you because you're mine. Oh, I'm telling you the possession. It's a possessive thing. I put a spell on you. I wish I could hit a falsetto. Shit. <laughs> because. All right, I guess let's get the twin flame deck, no? You know, it's great. Adam never really uses this deck. I only use it when a Twin Flame card comes out. So let's do it. Intuit, Oracle, Twin Flame deck. Yeah, I'm definitely not supposed to be doing a reading right now. <laughs> I mean, I am, but I'm not. Because I have an event and I was supposed to be making merchandise because I make all my own things. All my own candles and jewelry and all that good stuff. It's okay. It's going to work out. It shouldn't be just fine. What song is that? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. What do I love? Men. <laughs> Wait, what song is that? 
Here we go, here I go, here I go again. Lady Aurora, what do we love? Men. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so you're like, oh, look at that. This is like a Six of Cups kind of thing. Here I go, here I go, here I go again. <laughs> um, It's, you're rekindling what was there, once there. But what makes it difficult is it says we project our patterns onto each other. So remember, you guys mirror each other in a way. Kind of. So, and this makes it difficult to see what is real and what is fear-based thinking. Oh, look, mirrors. Huh. I guess you do marry each other in a way. But that's good and bad. It's kind of like... When it's good, it's good, but when it's not good, it's not. It can get real petty real fast. I wish you could see that we are mirroring each other right now. I didn't know this fucking card was here, but it is. What else is here? <laughs> Mirrors again. Our inner children are crying out right now. We both need to comfort them and become the parents. Hmm. <laughs> Growth. I'm changing this pattern and moving forward. Can we get a little more though? Wow. You keep getting the mirror cards. Holy shit. Like a lot. One, two, three, four. I can't validate our love in a 3D until I understand our spiritual love in a 5D. So that's what's happening. It's like, this is a lot and I don't know what to do with it. I know it's what I'm supposed to be doing, but at the same time, do I? I don't understand why did I, why am I falling for this person so fast? And then it's kind of like, you just know you're doing the right thing. Your subconscious knows you're doing the right thing. But the ego is just getting in the way. No, this can't be good. This has to be toxic. But it's not in this particular case. It's listen to your heart. Oh, my God. <laughs> when they're calling for you, listen to your heart. <laughs> Nothing else you can do. 11-11. We're coming into union. This journey is teaching us one of the most important spiritual lesson lessons. Oh my God. Lessons. <laughs> Patience. A lot of 11s here. You might see a lot of synchronicities right now. Definitely one, 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 one. Look, I'm seeing synchronicities like your name or 1111 and working out what they mean. Oh my God, I should just fucking channel and not even use these cards. <laughs> like, why do I even have these cards if I just said the message? But thank you for confirmation, spirit. They're like, fuck you. Here's all these cards then. 11. <laughs> Life like, or love like ours can change the world. So someone is having issues with leaving their comfort zone. Like that's part of the growth. There's a lot of growth happening here. I think someone, the masculine energy in this, the divine masculine energy, um, is being forced to grow very quickly in this specific partnership. And that's why they're so conflicted. Because they don't know if they have what it takes to be your partner. They know subconsciously is the right thing to do. Even though their ego is kind of like red flag, red flag, run away. They know deep down inside it's, the right path for them. 
However, they also know it's going to be a challenge and they don't know if they're up for that. It makes them feel insecure because you're just trying to force you out of that stage with the ego controlling, right? To release the ego can be the, one of the hardest things you have to do in life. Oh. It's almost like eventually you say, fuck it, and I'm going to send a message. And then things go really well after that because of that. Because you decide to step out of that comfort zone. You might see each other in your dreams a whole lot. Like you might actually be dreaming together. <laughs> and it's like you might even have fantasies about like coming to the door and sweeping them off their feet and all that. Like all oh, that whole vision. You definitely might have that, which is really adorable. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. You show up in my dreams. Did I not just say that? <laughs> Spirit. Okay. I got it. Thank you. You guys are amazing. It helps me process buried memories. Very interesting. So this is like healing that inner child that we talked about earlier in the cards. This is like healing things from the past. Like not here, but in your past life. You are my true love, my heart, and my soul. So someone's coming into realization of this. The masculine energy, whoever that may be, is coming into realization that it's not even soulmates. Well, we talked about twin flames earlier. Um, it's deeper than that. You are my true love, my heart, and my soul. I might title that this if I remember. And then, very cool, and then they start listening to their higher self. And now their higher power is going to start guiding them. And that's what leads them to you. That's pretty cool. Then what? I'm excited. Let's go into the tarot deck, though. I know we got a lot here. Please don't go. Oh, I just got chills. Oh, big chills, big chills. Please don't go. So someone's asking for someone not to go. I'm telling you that I told you in the beginning, right? That there was a separation. I'm telling you. All I need is your love tonight. This is a cool reading. <laughs> because I'm picking up on all these songs. All I need. Is your love tonight? It's like you can't stop thinking about them. I've been loving you all my life. You have always pictured yourself with this person, but you just didn't have a face to the name. It's like you always felt them. You always felt that it was going to be them. You could feel their soul way before you met the actual person. And then now you have a face to the name and now it's like driving you crazy. Because I've been loving you all my life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I forget the words. <laughs> but this happened it's all so sudden this happened so unexpectedly I wasn't ready masculine energy I wasn't ready and I'm like oh my god I have to fight this off because there's just no way and now one person will look totally into it and seeing it while the other person wasn't, wow, I just got really woozy or like dizzy or something. What was that? That was weird. Anyways, it excites them, but then they feel like they have to look the other way. It's kind of like 
they couldn't face you, so then they're just going to avoid you. But they love you. Already. Because I've been loving you all my life. <laughs> oh. And that's the clarity. So, here, when it happened unexpectedly, they didn't know how they felt, right? But then, I think that you guys probably argued quite a bit. And every time, they wanted to fight to make it work. Right? So then, each time that you guys argued or separated or whatever it was, they're like, damn, I think I'm falling for this person more and more. And I don't understand why this is happening so soon, but I now know this is what it is. It's complicated, but at least I know now. But I've been hurt in the past. I don't want children. Why is that? Oh. They're like really paranoid about getting you knocked up. Or vice versa, you know what I mean? Energies interchange. Whoever you are in this story. Someone's paranoid about either being a parent or paranoid about making a child or, you know, something of that sort. Why? <laughs> He's so cute. But they love the shit out of you already. I keep saying already. I feel like this is new-ish. They want... You know what I was just about to say? They want you all to themselves. So it's like a possession thing for this too? So are they going to be jealous of a child if they have a child? Whoa. <laughs> oh, here's the child. This is down the line. Hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> so down the line <laughs> your child's gonna be a little asshole too by the way these two people are meant to have a child together eventually not right now eventually right funny thing is the guy oh maybe the guy the masculine energy is so paranoid about not having a child because they can feel that they're meant to have a child with this person subconsciously. But I don't know if they know that, but that's why they're so paranoid about it. Because when they think of the other person, um, I'm just using he and she to like get along with the reading. When they think of the other person, they automatically think of them as a mother for some reason, even if they're not. And that scares the crap out of them. But you know what's funny? Plot twist. You're going to have a little asshole child. <laughs> you are. And I can see the husband. Oh, I said husband. Interesting. Um, the masculine energy in here. Getting jealous of the tension that the child is getting. They might have like a little bit of a standoff. Like, they might, they're, this might be, like, a past life issue. Like, the son is like, ha, 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 she's mine. And then he's like, the fuck she is. <laughs> what am I unlocking here? <laughs> and then she's like, boys, boys, stop it now. Like, there's enough love for everyone. Let's all work together. <laughs> she, the feminine energy, it's just one with the moon, you know what I mean? It's also new moon season. Um, she's just gracefully going about life. She's like, oh, there's enough me for everyone. It's fine. I love everyone. Let's just... Go sit under the moon and see what it's like and 
just enjoy these energies and just simmer in and wow it's really weird because I can feel energy like literally swirling around me as I'm talking and that might be what's happening to her she super intuitive like a daughter of the moon that's what I just heard so she might work with the moon, like manifestations, all that. And the moon, like, um, they listen to her. Woo! Whoa! Big chills. Oh, okay. Huge chills when I said that. Like, I even went like this. <laughs> okay. Wait, what am I getting at here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, what else do you need to tell me? Wow. Ten of cups. Oh, two of cups. Wow. Still wow. The star. Stop it. Told you. With the moon. She listened to the moon. Or she talked to the moon. Talking to the moon. Trying to get to you. In hopes you're on the other side. Talking to me too. Oh shoot. Or am I a fool who sits alone talking to the moon? No, baby girl. <laughs> you are not a fool. <laughs> what? I'm so excited for this reading. Okay. <laughs> she literally, so this is obviously not going to be for everyone. Literally manifested this partnership literally talked to the universe talked to the moon the stars asked for this partnership ask and you shall receive she actually asked for a twin flame ask and you shall receive Wow. I just want to point out one thing real quick, though. It just, it's a little, comp it's not coming easily, though. It's a little complicated, okay? But you got it. It's just not coming how you wanted it to. Suck into you. See, you guys might argue a lot. And that causes delays between you two. But ultimately it's going to lead to having a great foundation. As soon as you guys let go of your BS. That's when you guys are going to be able to start enjoying life together. Oh my God, I have the biggest chills. You don't understand. You don't, you can't feel it. Um, this feminine energy might be a medium of some sort also. Might practice mediumship. Might also have a white dog. This feminine energy has been through a lot of shit. She has, she earned it. Girl, you earned it. <laughs> she might be a little freaky too. Because I'm getting some like Fifty Shades of Grey type of vibes. She can manhandle the shit out of you. Just saying. This reading is not for eight. <laughs> 18 and under it's 18 and over here it, one someone might curse a lot because i feel like i'm cursing a whole lot today but you know it just it is what it is anyways she's been through a lot of crap she has overcome her obstacles she has healed and then she's manifesting but she's also sad like she feels lonely It's you and me and against the world. She may have like told her pet, it's me and you against the world, thinking that like that it was it. That was over. 
Is that what happened? She met the person in the beginning and then they broke up or separated or whatever and then she thought it was over, over, right? And then she like was sad and went to the pet and she's like, oh my gosh, she's like, it's me and you against the world. And then she's talking to the moon. So this must have happened. Maybe this happened very recently, like during the new moon or something like that. So during the new moon season, because here's all the cycles of the moon here. What does the new moon do, right? Well, I always tell people, new moon, new me. The new moon flushed out all that BS that you guys are going through. And it's bringing in the new partnership or the new version of your partnership. <gasps> This is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. I have chills really bad. Please stop it. Please stop it. Six of coins. Now you're going to get the reciprocation that you've been asking for. So now you guys get to start from scratch. You get the reciprocation you've finally been working for and asking for. And it makes you so freaking happy. Because it makes you happy because now there's change. Um, I just want to get the mediumship deck out because I keep picking up on mediumship and then that's going to be the story. This is an awesome story. I'm really glad that I did this. And I hope that you guys enjoy it as much as I am as I'm doing this. All right, mediumship deck. What do you need me to know? Can we talk about this um, feminine energy? What you need them to know? Oh, they're an empath. The power of empathy. So um, the feminine energy, they're not only feeling the sadness of their pain, they're feeling the masculine energy sadness too. That's why they feel so hopeless when they're talking to the moon or the stars or universe, whatever. Intuitive walking. Blending with spirit. Okay, hold on. Too many messages at once. Intuitive walking. They don't understand why they're being set on this path. But they full on 100% trust it. So they're walking. They're, they're moving forward, doing what they feel that they're guided to do. And during this process, blending with spirit. It's almost like they might be getting their mediumship skills or something like that. Or abilities or... It's like they're becoming one with spirit in a way. I know that sounds weird, but they're going to feel them a lot more. They're one with the universe. So, <laughs> uh, keep getting chills. Um... That's exactly what it might feel like for the feminine energy. It's like nonstop. Because they're being one with the universe, one of spirit, right? Anyways, during this separation time, this change, they're replenishing their energy. Because as much as a twin flame partnership is great and all, it can really suck you up dry if... You guys haven't figured out how to work the ways yet, right? Whew. Stop it. I can't even explain what I'm feeling right now. It's not. <laughs> okay. Um, the wonder of colors. I mean, aside from you actually 
physically being able to see more vibrant colors than other people right now, whoever this is for, um, you're going to notice it more in your dreams. And you're going to know that there's a meaning behind it. All right, last one. That was aggressive. Let's do that again. One more, please. Final messages. Are you done talking to me? No. Reaching out to spirit. So the this person, medium's toolbox. I told you. Um practicing patience. So this person's not typically patient, but spirit is guiding them to do so, so that they're doing it. Um during this time, like I said, they're getting their mediumship skills and they're learning how to turn it on and turn it off, right? Um, they're going to have to start, if this is for you, this final, there's a lot of messages in here, but whoever this is for, if this is for you, get a notebook and start writing what certain symbols will mean to you because it'll help you out later down the line. That's how spirit is going to connect with you. So a flower means, you know, maybe a flower blossoming means growth to you or, a star means a wish, you know, stuff like that. All right, that's everyone's reading. That is, oh, clairsentience. I fucking knew it because I was feeling the chills so much. I am clairsentient, but I'm telling you this person, this empath here, super fucking clairsentient. That's probably why I was picking up on it so damn much. Okay, that's your reading. <laughs> Until next time, bye!